Hello. Yeah, because there is always something to be fixed, I want to show you how to take apart this brake caliper on the box saw so of the Führer. Because most of the calipers have two, two bolts, this one and this one. This one is a bit different, this model is a bit different. Only got a 13 millimeter on the bottom. So take 13 millimeter. I already tried with the with a um, multiple star. <coughs> That's tight. socket you need a normal six side socket like the impact one now you need also another wrench here to hold the other side and the wrench size is Okay, a second, give me a second. I think it's 18, but we're gonna see in just a second. I didn't want to spin this one. This thread is almost gone. Uh, I think it's 17 or 18 because I tried on the other side and I had a little bit of trouble. Now we need to take a screwdriver and just give it a little wiggle like that and then this side can be pushed this way. Okay. Can you see? Okay, you can. Okay, and now we're pushing out. That's it. Now uh, we can change the change the brake pads straight away, but uh, I will take I will take the support out. Yeah. I'll take the whole support out and I will clean up these areas right here because they were uh, a bit bad. Okay, now 18 millimeter, 18 T18, not 18. or Torx or whatever is it this way? no no I'm going the wrong direction I just did it on the other side and I'm, uh, I was pushing down and If you have an impact, it will be a lot better. And I have an impact, but I also have neighbors, which are not very keen on my video making 11 o'clock in the evening. I think I'll have to still do something about it. Let's see.
Maybe if you hit it a little bit with the with the wire brush, will be even better. Okay. Just want to watch it. A little bit of WD-40 will hurt. It's actually not WD-40. Some other penetration oil. Now to the caliper in the position which is supposed to be you need a special tool but I think you can wing it even without a special tool it just depends on how clever you are That's proper tire already. sure how much you can see or you can't see more like I managed to pull it out and that's the there's the brake caliper okay I don't know how much you can see but that's the brake caliper and it needs to be pushed in with a special tool now you can't you can't push it in like that okay you need to twist it in and push at the same time let's take the tool Okay, let's see. I don't know if you see something. That's the tool. Let's take the caliper. I'm pretty sure you can do it without the tool. I have seen people do it. I just don't remember how. And I have the tool, so I'm gonna use it. Okay, so we'll need to turn, turn in. I think that's all the way I can get down. <coughs>
let's go and clean up the supports. Do I have the brakes support ready? Let's just clean up a little bit. There are 75 newton meters.
so we can snap the guide. You can see here it had some uh, thread locker, but I'm not gonna put anything. to be Now for this repair, you're not supposed to take the handbrake cable off, but if you did, you can wedge something in here and just push it back. Flat head, preferably a flat head screwdriver will be perfect. Well, that's it for this repair. I hope it's been helpful to you. Leave me a comment and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Okay, so I routed everything for the cable. But before I show you, maybe it's a good idea to show you what what we need to do next. Here, there is a little plate. We need to pull the handbrake thingy. And can you see that? Our, um, not. It needs to be undone all the way out okay so just make it flush with the rod I think it's 10 millimeter okay and let down the the handbrake there you go right there. now I'm gonna pull on the on the cable After we pull it on both sides, we need to guide it. I 
I managed to. Never mind. So definitely have a lot shorter lifespan with broken thingy, but. <coughs> Handbrake a few times. As you can see, the handbrake is working, but there is some slack in the handbrake cable that we need to take out. If you see here, can you see the nut? We need to return it in a position like in the beginning. Okay. And to do that, to adjust the handbrake to have three four clicks until you can't pull it anymore so you pull the handbrake and it makes click 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 then you shouldn't be able to pull it anymore you tighten that screw until you can't pull more on the handbrake. Now make sure it's nicely secure on the bottom. For example, this hook right here. This one goes here. And there is a little bushing that I don't know really where it's supposed to sit. On the previous one was zip tight right here I'm not sure yeah if you know tell me in the comments well that's it easy as that I put the exhaust back in the car you can definitely struggle with the exhaust though uh, if you need to take out the exhaust there is a link right there and in there and you can only take the middle section out otherwise it's gonna be a pain to get to that bracket which sits right here that's it give me a comment i hope the video has been helpful to you and i'll see you on the next one bye bye